नमस्कार नमस्कार अशोक व्यास एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज इनसाइड टू नाइट विद अशोक व्यास एंड यू वाचिंग इट ऑन आई टी गोल्ड एंड देन एज वी हैव मेट फॉर सेवरल इयर्स थ्रू दिस प्रोग्राम एंड अदर प्रोग्राम सो आई वांट टू बी लिटिल पर्सनल टुडे एंड शेयर समथिंग विच रिलेट्स टू द फिजिकल स्पेस ऑफ आई टी गोल्ड दिस इज द लास्ट डे दैट वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग द शोज फ्रॉम द स्टूडियो बेस्ड इन क्वींस and then we will have our studio uh, shifted to new jersey addison so you can uh, congratulate itv gold for um, transiting to a new abode and at the same time there are many memories uh, with the physical space that we have and today we are actually talking about something very uh, different than related to the memory lane of this place but before i come to today's subject i'll introduce uh, my guests and i will also um, say something about uh, nilima madan ji uh, so let's have her first on the screen namaste nilima ji namaskar ashok ji thank you for having me so nilima ji in addition to being a community leader active with uh, bjp overseas and what not several organizations she has also uh, been a host for uh, couple of years or i mean sometimes she and she brought some important guests so uh, before we come to today's theme uh, and i come back to nilima let me also introduce professor sanjay patel who has joined us uh, now stay he has taught english for 38 plus years so nilima ji uh, talk to me about the role that you feel itv gold has played for community and the studio being in queens and uh, you also brought several important uh, dignitaries to the studio your memories general my general memory kahu to aap ek household name hai itv gold is a household name aap swayam itne sare community programs mein upasthit hote hain ki hum logon ko ek family atmosphere lagta hai to itv gold ke sath rishta bahut purana hai aap log yahan se chale jayenge khet to zarur hoga lekin i am sure aapka jo prasaran hai wo phir bhi hum tak pahunchta rahega vyaktigat tarike se kahu to मैं स्टूडियो में लाइक यू मेंशन एज अ होस्ट भी आती रही हूँ और एज अ गेस्ट भी आती रही हूँ तो लॉजिस्टिकली थोड़ा दूर हो जाएंगे आप लेकिन फिर भी नाता बना रहे ऐसी मैं उम्मीद रखती हूँ एब्सोल्युटली तो ये तो बात हो गई बिफोर टॉपिक एंड द टॉपिक टुडे इज रिलेटेड टू यस एक्सप्लॉटिंग सिचुएशन वर्सेज सीकिंग सोल्यूशन एंड when we say exploiting situation versus seeking solution we are looking at several uh, things that happen some of them are painful some of them are uh, tragic uh, but where they lead us in terms of uh, moving forward uh, collectively uh, by uh, looking at the potential solutions are we finding that or we are not finding that? and we'll talk about some of the key uh, issues which are drawing our attention these days and Uh, there is something to do with what happened in kashmir something related to lakhimpur and professor patel may not be aware in depth about these uh, events but in general um, the way you have observed especially there are some political mileage that people want to seek there are very very clearly drawn uh, media uh, focus towards uh, blaming let's say uh, on bjp or on modi and they feel if something happened then they can sort of uh, throw some mud uh, that so but that that might play out in their favor or may not but overall it is not a healthy uh, kind of equation what do you think the, <clears throat> the biggest problem with uh we're seeing is that there are many agendas that uh many people many institutions want to fulfill and when a crisis arises we you know exploitations occur Uh, it's it's natural we see it in all sectors of life we see it uh especially uh, when it comes to global crises and a particular media which may be sponsoring a certain philosophy or a certain uh, agenda a certain country or a certain a group of people they're going to try to use propaganda as much as possible to fulfill what they need to do to promote their agenda and this is a uh, part of you know this is part of uh, all crises that we see unfortunately what happens is that what we're supposed to what the public is supposed to view or receive the information becomes slanted and tainted so they are unable to pro- make a proper interpretation of the situation and they get misguided as well so this misguiding uh, process 
it's like a wholesale business for many people on social media nilima ji look at what has happened in lakhimpur and we get filtered information even though there are so many cameras but you will have only a particular 29 second clip being shown which would not have before or after but somebody would show the complete and so there are different narratives to the same situation and uh, what is your understanding of what has happened in lakhimpur first of all the very basic line is it was wrong whatever happened was terrible should not have happened however the killing happened of the people who were in the who were part of that farmers agitation there is no way that the person who did this should not go punished okay so you Ab let, isme, yeah, I'll, I'll, sorry to interrupt because uh, and you may take any time uh, interrupt but i just wanted to set the stage the way we have come to know of what has happened earlier reports said that one um, bjp minister's son and his uh, group of uh, people mowed down and uh, these three or four farmers got killed because the car kind of ran over them and then they, there was lynching of three four bjp uh, members if i'm correct and that they say was the outburst of the anger by the farmers but then the reports say that uh, the jeep was already attacked and the windshield was uh, broken and uh, the driver had no way to see and he was being right so it it kind of went uh, out of control from him so we exactly we we will have to wait for final words but there are different narratives and then there are some people caught up yeah continue so i th i think very recently four of the bodies have been cremated um total number of people we lost was eight the police is looking into every aspect of it this is not a small thing that has happened especially when the home minister and his son are involved now it becomes political it becomes uh it becomes a capital issue for them to handle at the level of up government as well as central government and then bjp is getting drawn in also plus the kisan morcha to already chali raha so so many things come together in this that it is going to be a task that has to be very meticulously taken ek chhota sa parallel lena chahti hu aapko yaad hai jab salman khan ka case hua tha 2002 mein 2015 tak wo khicha अब आप सोचिए इस और उसमें उस वक़्त तो वो एक ही अकेले ड्राइवर माने गए थे जो कि प्रूव हुआ डिसप्रूव हुआ जो वट एवर केस केम आउट एंड नॉट सो मेनी पीपल व खेल ए ये तो जैसे कॉन्शियस वे में करा गया है ये जो अभी लखीमपुर में हुआ है दैट इज़ हैपन्ड इन अ वेरी कॉन्शियस वे चाहे वो जान बचा के जा रहे थे चाहे उन पर ऑलरेडी अटैक हो रहा था कुछ भी हो रहा था आप मैं स्वयं ये सोचती हूँ देर इज नो जस्टिफिकेशन एवर फॉर किलिंग एनी सिविलियन आपकी बात दोनों तरफ ठीक है एक मिनट के लिए एक एक्सीडेंट है कि गाड़ी में जो चला रहा है वो ऑलरेडी अटैक हो चुका है उसको मतलब दिख भी नहीं रहा है कि आगे विंडशील पे लगा सो दैट इज वन दूसरा ये उसके रिएक्शन में जो लोगों को कलेक्टिवली मार देना है I mean, ये वैशी पना है दोनों तरफ बात आपकी सही है बट लेट लेट मी कम बैक टू यू एंड सो प्रोफेसर पटेल वॉट हैज हैपन इज आफ्टर दिस इंस्टेंस इंडीड मीडिया टेक अ स्टैंड बिफोर नोइंग दी होल डिटेल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सपोर्ट बीजेपी देन यू विल पुट इट डिफरेंटली एंड इफ यू डेफिनेटली डोंट वॉन्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी और यू पी चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड यू सी दिस इज अ potential uh, situation that can be exploited to gain mileage political mileage for you so then you write according so leaving aside the media part and uh, not talking about the objectivity in uh, sharing the details let us look at the role of the opposition party leader so politicians uh, they also choose uh, where they should go to kind of show their sympathy for the victims etc and they are also looks like are not interested in finding a solution but, but kind of exploiting the situation to their advantage what is your general feel and impression about this we always hope that the uh, <clears throat> when politicians uh, do visit the sites and the families that you know uh, they they do have some sense of genuine compassion and empathy for the family uh, there are times when the 
politicians have used incidents such as these to promote their own um, popularity, fame, or to collect votes, as we would say. And unfortunately, what happens is that uh, many times uh, the opposing party sees this and they also want to uh, climb up in their, uh, in their status as well. So the clashes occur, but what happens is that when society sees the, po the politicians doing this particular type of you know, photo shoot op uh, for their own advantages, they start wondering is how much genuine is the, uh, the politician's work when it comes to these situations. And we want to build relationships between politicians, leaders, and the society. So it, when, if they don't use it for their personal gain and they use it for genuinely, genuine re reasons to help pr uh, promote the situation or improve the situation so it doesn't repeat and create bills that are passed into uh, protecting citizens, then it, then it becomes constructive work. Absolutely, and Nilimaji now getting to the specifics of the way media reports are coming and then Rahul Gandhi shown in some videos, he's saying that they are stopping me, they are not letting me go, etc. Then similarly Priyanka also shouting, etc. And we don't know the whole uh, canvas of uh, the flow of situation, but um, it looks like they, uh, there is no sense of consensus, whether you are a leader of the ruling party or opposition party. If some tragic thing has happened, you need to work collectively on finding that it doesn't repeat itself. That uh, looks like is nowhere to be seen. Absolutely. I do agree that, um, you know, there should be compassion at this point. But like when Priyanka Gandhi was trying to clarify for herself that she, her stand was she was going for compassion reasons. She, all right. She was stopped. And as soon as she was stopped, there is a video of her talking what happened in detail. Her first reaction, which to me was amazing, that instead of talking about the people or the agenda that she went for, she started saying, She started counting the different ways in which she could bring people to task whether it is the opposition party, whether it is the police force, or the individuals who took that matter into their hand. So, yes, they want political leverage, but the political leverage that they are looking for is to malign the other party. You know, it's like saying, I'll discredit you so that credit comes to me. It's not that I raise my credit so I look better. That's the point I have. Absolutely. and. Uh I, I don't see uh, we will uh, be able to see a different scenario because there are some political compulsions and there are some calculations that leaders, whether they belong to this or that party, will have in their mind that if they uh, project this kind of image, probably they'll be able to woo some more water. So uh, this looks like an inbuilt limitation of the democratic way of functioning. Professor Patel, what would you say? <laughs> uh, it. it one of the problems is that because the democratic system allows us uh, to try, it, it's like almost like a, more like, I want to say it's more of a capitalist system. It's the exploitation of situations for personal gain. <clears throat> and until we separate the two and promote the, uh, the, uh, the principles of democracy, all of these situations will always continue to happen as we saw in, uh, in the situation where, what happened in India. Uh, in order to uh, change that, the idea of capitalism, which is rooted in uh, today's modern democracy, has to be separated. And if that's done, then these exploitations will not uh, happen as much. It'll be curbed, where the importance to the individual, the importance of the family, will be given, and not what uh, what I can gain. So right now, it's become more about uh, survival of the fittest. If I see some situation that's uh, broken down a week, I will try to exp exploit it for my personal advantage and gain. And that is what something has to be changed as well. So, uh, Nili, when you're going towards the ideal uh, side or um, call it uh, leadership means, if we say, being selfless to help people. And do you see that sense of selflessness among uh, leaders, irrespective of whatever party he she comes from? Uh, if you, on the scale from 0 to 10, you put that in general, what what do you think? How much uh, is the score on average among politicians uh, that they are not working with uh, 
self uh, uh, self interest or uh, <laughs> to gain mileage for their party i would say that they do come across as if they're trying to do good so the scale that you wanted to put if they come across as a scale of 8 that yes we are here to help and we are here to for the cause because of their ulterior motive if at all you cannot blame everybody but some of them may have an ulterior motive for themselves that number goes down mm. that mm. number does go down but being the second largest democracy that we are and the populace being so much it is practically impossible for a one line agenda it will never happen it is always going to be under attack it is always going to be in scrutiny it is always going to be twisted so you can come with one mission but that mission by the time the point of delivery comes it has changed many faces absolutely and now we'll uh, also talk about another tragic uh, attack that has happened in jammu and in kashmir uh, and professor patel uh, this is again a sad uh, story uh, tragic uh, shocking as well as uh, worrisome and uh, it may have some far reaching impact so what happened is in a school these uh, terrorists uh, they went uh, and uh, they let all the muslim teachers leave telling them that this is the time to go and do your namaz and then they uh, identified the hindu and sikh uh, teachers and killed them so um they, in the aftermath of this there are several statements which sometimes makes you wonder whether they are actually concerned that somebody got killed and uh, this is coming out of a hatred or they just want to use this as a way to put a question mark on the efficacy of the functioning of uh, central government which abrogated uh, article 370 so your uh, uh, feelings or impressions uh, about it from the point of view of our theme that is exploiting situation versus seeking solution uh, it's unfortunate that this had to happen especially with the uh, young children i mean unfortunate for anyone but uh, when we see this uh, being attack on children um it hits it hits the heart of a nation it hits the heart of families and unfortunately the uh, the com- the the conflict between two religions or i would say in this case it's misguided religion misinterpretation uh we can't imagine at the uh at the f- at the principal level value or philosophical level of any religion you know c- uh, condoning um violence and unfortunately that individuals or groups have used religion okay for personal gain and personal interest to fulfill a political agenda a social agenda or for maybe other uh, other dominance they, uh, they they ha- they have uh, they want it just shows that uh it's a, it's a, a demoralized system or uh, that they follow rather than one that's elevated to create a, a proper society bilkul sahi nili bhai हम कई बार सुनते हैं इस तरह की घटनाओं के बाद में या कि आतंकवादी का कोई धर्म नहीं होता है आतंकवादी आतंकवादी होता है बट आतंकवादी के आक्रमण या उसके बारबरिक और बरबर हमले से जो मारे जाने वाले हैं वो तो आइडेंटिफाई कर रहे हैं उनको कि ये इस धर्म के हैं या इस धर्म के नहीं हैं या तो इन ऑर्डर टू एड्रेस दिस सिचुएशन फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ सीकिंग सोल्यूशन you have to take into account the ground reality rather than uh, flying on the philosophy ki aatankwadi ka koi dharm nahi so uh, how do you see uh, not just uh, one government but uh, i mean collectively looks like we get into the tension of denying uh, the root cause of the problem by doing this the kashmir bahut acha example hai एग्जाम्पल इसलिए है कि वहाँ बहुत सी वारदातें ऐसी होती हैं विच आर माइनॉरिटी रिलेटेड वो लोग आइडेंटिफाई इन्होंने सही कहा कि जिस तरह से नमाज के टाइम पे किया गया जबकि मालूम है कि हिंदू टीचर्स शायद वहीं होंगे मुस्लिम टीचर्स निकल जाएंगे आप एजुकेशनिस्ट को टारगेट कर रहे हो आप फार्मासिस्ट को टारगेट कर रहे हो आप ब्रेड विनर्स को टारगेट कर रहे हो अगर आप जितनी बची वहाँ पे हिंदू फैमिलीज हैं आहिस्ता आहिस्ता अगर ब्रेड विनर्स को आप टारगेट करते जाएंगे तो ये तो दिस इज ऑफ कोर्स 
terrible should not happen why it is being allowed isme farooq ji kahe ki center ko puchiye ki center se kahiye ye kya ho raha hai ye kyun ho raha hai baithe kashmir mein jo hain unko ye apne haathon mein lena hai ki aisi wardat na ho it is their prerogative to aur unka uttardayitva hai wahan ki janta ko protect karna aur ye agar hamle chalte rahenge to fir aaj aap muslims ko blame kar rahe hain kal ko aap kahenge ki ji taliban wale afghanistan se nikalte hue pakistan se nikalte hue kashmir border cross karke yahan ke wo log hame maar rahe hain hone ko bahut kuch ho sakta hai but you cannot go back into a situation like in early 90s and create create a huge divide bahut ko ye jo 370 ki abrogation ki aapne baat kari the purpose for that is to bring people together not to divide them Absolutely. and hopefully one day some day kashmiris should realize what is in their favor and it should not be religious and it should not be factions based so again uh, where i started and when you said it should not be religious based that is the standard uh, line which we generally take but those who are perpetrators they operate from a different mindset so when we are seeking solution do you see that we need to be cognizant of what is driving them so that we can work on the root cause or that's uh, not possible <clears throat> it is the, the root cause um in reality has to be has to be dealt with not just from the political level but if there are any other hidden factions inside and that could be another uh, another reason but overall i think we can solve the problem is what it's what we promote at the end okay it is uh, w- w- uh the ability to accept others which we are not seeing amongst the uh, the group in uh, in in the Kashmir Jammu area we're still seeing which are a uh, Pakistani group or Indian group uh, from Afghanistan they're f- they're from the same bloodline for thousands of years but yet we've separated them into different others and because of that we're unable to solve problems because we're allowing our immediate dislikes immediate biases to get in the way rather than trying to meet a common ground where we can have a truce absolutely nilima you know getting to the political uh, dynamics and uh, impressions and you of course have supported prime minister modi and just looking at the whole situation in an objective fashion in terms of the approach of modi government uh with the home minister amit shah in handling such crisis situations or agitations which uh, are causing a uh, lot of uh, disruption for common men whether it is agitation of farmers or before that that shine bark thing etc so many people feel that they should probably be a little bit more firm or proactive or and that now i bring to this kashmir situation of course this is directly a different kind of a dynamics here but how much confident you are in their uh, far sighted uh, approach to curb uh, this from escalating you know it is the size of the problem that matters the farmers issues the issue that you touched upon it is no longer a small issue it is a very big issue it has extended itself not just to the rally which has been going on for months in a row now the punjab political scenario has completely changed okay could more have been done should the political parties or the leadership have taken a more active role in order to uh, bring a solution sooner than later that is all debatable why it happens why it doesn't happen why it is taking so long it's it's a difficult guess and it's a difficult thing to assume or presume because we are not in so their shoes you are dealing with a difficult question now yes tell tell me your gut my gut feeling is um my gut feeling of course is that solution will come around it has taken this long and something will turn around in a few months time and hopefully that should be something that satisfies the farmers one way or the other because you cannot have a whole segment of the country not happy with what what is being done so i'm sure modi ji has done so many good things for the country he will keeping he will keep that in mind and bring some solution that will be acceptable to them as well as to the center 
so this i think i will slightly bring the other uh, point of view here uh, right from the beginning they said you take it away meaning uh, the bill which was passed you repeal the bill rather than making any uh, changes and so i will not get into that detail right now but i if it was to be acceptable to them then they have to have a little bit of openness in appreciating the intent with which it was introduced which i don't see so far so anyway but that's a critical situation just in the 2 3 minutes that we have uh, very quickly i would like both of you to weigh in on the situation that has come up with the um drug case against shahrukh khan son and few others and because he shahrukh khan son aryan khan so then it becomes more sort of people's uh, talk and no when we are talking about solution of course it it is sad that there is something related to drug uh, for kids who are like 23 and 21 etc but the question is people without knowing the details of the case start saying that i support shahrukh khan i support aryan khan. but here you are supporting someone who is caught up in an in a criminal act so there there is a clear cut um what should i say a way a bias actually to to say that i stand with him no i am reminded of a movie called mother india where the mother didn't stand with his son because uh, with her son because she felt that he was not right now talk to me about the approach that we generally see uh, prominent voices take <clears throat> I mean it's unfortunate that um our perception is that when we see a celebrity and we've seen him from the lens of the movies that we feel um that that is who he is and because of that we don't see his actual life so that as we were to, uh, as many times we see in you know the authors and uh, what they write the two different personalities what they have on paper and so what Shahrukh Khan what he has on television or in the uh, in in the in front of the um the screen as opposed to his actual life we're seeing two different parts yeah. and so if sorry we, to interrupt yeah. i mean we just two minutes left and i'll go to nilu majid what you're saying i'll i'll just add to this this is not shahrukh khan's case it is his son's case and uh, how he lives his life may be different and that is bound to be different we have played so many characters uh, nilu majid your take my take is that you know when somebody has a celebrity status there is a huge fan following in the country so the fans are not going to easily uh, accept a blame until it is proven guilty that is one secondly they as far as the people who got onto the ship and who tried to investigate in you know incognito it is possible that they were suspecting something big and without any leads for anyone to have an operation underway is highly unlikely so i guess their agenda is much bigger that they want to go further and further they want to identify the root causes the root basis so, and then yeah. branch out and find out more people absolutely so there is uh, law and order machinery as well as such uh, uh, departments like narcotics bureau etc are working to seek solutions and uh, rather than exploiting the situation by uh, taking it uh, in parts when we look at it in its totality then probably with the right a uh, mind and uh, honesty and integrity uh, the possibility of uh, arriving at solutions is much more uh, than when we are just there to exploit it for our advantage so nilu maji such a pleasure having you with us thank, thank you, you so very much. much good luck to you yeah, shobhi thank, thank, thank you sanjay patel ji nice for being with us um with thanks and good wishes uh, to all of you this is shobhi us namaste